Every year on Christmas, gift shopping is always a problem. And if you have parents like me, especially grandparents, they usually have money and you usually can't buy them anything super cool. Let's open the box. So it turns out this thing is actually kind of burnt out. I don't really know what's up with it, but when I did power it up, this little guy right here, let's see if I can zoom in there. This little inductor um, kind of went up in smoke. This 331 Henry inductor, I think the schematic calls for a 330 though, which is kind of weird. So fortunate for me, I have another one of these, which I got really lucky from because um, I got lucky because this guy right here has the exact same inductor on it. It's just kind of bigger, but I'm not sure if the physical size makes a difference or not. But I guess I'm gonna solder, this, solder on this thing and find out. Well, I guess something else is toast inside the clock, so luckily for me, I ordered a spare. Well, uh, about two weeks later, I have no idea what's wrong with this thing. I'm a little bit late on my Christmas present now, because I'm, uh, I contacted tech support for the guy who makes this thing. And this is a great kit, by the way, because uh, the instructions were very clearly laid out, and it was great and easy to understand. But for some reason, I just can't figure out why it does that. I put that one tube in, and then the two digits all short out, weirdly enough. Take it off. Hang on. I'm trying to shock myself. This thing does, will, will shock you, which would suck. and the two to just start working again. Whoa, this thing is pretty sweet. I've always wanted one of these things since I was, um, or since I've seen them on the internet. Now I actually have one. Now, unfortunately, I do have to make this into a gift, but luckily for me, uh, it actually works now. Before I actually get started, this thing took me a lot longer than I admit, that I would care to admit. Uh, I started this thing about three weeks ago, and it was supposed to be a present from my grandparents, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like that has happened because it's now January. I did start off with this clock over here, which you saw earlier. For whatever reason, I cannot know, I don't just know why, but. When I plugged it in, it all went to zeros, and then immediately the inductor on the board smoked. I tried replacing it with another inductor, but I think, unfortunately, some chip is fried in here. I don't know. I meant to see what's up with this one later on, but that's, uh, ain't got no time for that. Now, this one, I had some problems with it, too, but that's on my, that's, uh, that's my problem. Because, uh, on these tubes, I accidentally bridged one of the solder joints, and when you plugged it in, it would make all the tubes do the weirdest things ever. So, you have one shorted tube. But all the digits on that short section would short some of the other twos. But and if you move that tube around, it would change different digits around. It's super weird, super complicated. I guess the thing for me to take away from this is no matter how long you've been soldering, you can always still make a mistake. So I guess it's not time for the fun part. I gotta make something out of wood.
Oh man, this thing looks so cool. Well, unfortunately it is a present, so I'm not gonna get to keep it at all. But man, I'm gonna enjoy this for just a few days that I have it. But for the most part, it actually turned out really cool. I'm very, really happy with the results. As far as my limited knowledge of woodworking and soldering and all that, just mostly an acquired skill through years of usage and all that. So the kit itself was actually really nice. I actually kind of like playing with the clock. The buttons were great on the back side that I kind of built out and made. As far as the color tubes go, you can change all the tube colors themselves. I prefer to kind of leave it off because it just looks better with just the LEDs I put in the back side and the actual glow of the tubes themselves. Oh, and also, uh, for those of you interested in the kit that I purchased, I put a link down below to where you can kind of get one for yourself. And as far as the actual design goes, I don't know, leave me a couple comments below and I'll see about maybe releasing the design files for this so you guys can make one yourself. You don't really need the laser cutter. The laser cutter I just used because I was too lazy to kind of print out these patterns and then trace them out. I decided to just etch it in for one part and then cut it out by hand. And then I just uh, went about actually just cutting it out to the laser. It's unnecessary and it only saved me probably around maybe an hour. But for the most part, anyone can do it with just a simple set of woodworking tools. So I hope you guys liked the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, or as do the new end card says, and I'll see you guys next time. I used to know a guy named Joe Romano. Uh huh. Well, good thing you showed up, so I don't have to actually go anywhere. Here you go. Merry Christmas. Like, super late Christmas. Hey. <laughs> That's a clock? Yep.